Our last topic is the microscopic anatomy of bone, and specifically we're going to be looking at the microscopic anatomy of compact bone. So let's say we were to take a chunk of bone out of the diaphysis of a long bone, and we magnified it, you'd see something that looks like this, so we've got this sort of cake slice shaped chunk of bone. On the outer surface we have our periosteum that's attached to the compact bone. Notice that we have these little canals, they're called Volkmann's canals, but you, that's not something you have to know for lab. Uh, they allow blood vessels and uh, nerves to run perpendicular to the long axis of the bone, and those Volkmann's canals are going to merge with these other canals. And they are called central or haversian canals. And so the nerves and blood vessels pass perpendicular to the long axis of bone. They're bringing the supply of nutrients to the bone cells. And it's around this supply of nutrients that bone tissue is formed in concentric circles. This central canal and those concentric circles form a unit of bone called an osteon or a haversian system, though the prefer preferred term would be osteon. It's just a unit of bone. Here's an osteon here, here's an osteon here, and here, and here. Now, if we were to magnify this osteon, we'd get something that looks like this. Here's our central canal. Here are our concentric rings of bone tissue. Notice the rings are called lamella. That's where the extracellular matrix is found. And then you have these little spaces, which are called lacuna. And inside the lacuna, we have our matadas, or our osteocytes. Here's another image. Here we have our lamella here. And here are our lacuna, which are the cavities. And inside the lacuna are our bone cells are osteocytes. Notice that radiating out first from the central canal but then connecting one lacuna to another are these small canals called canalicula, literally little canals. They provide a transport system whereby substances transport between the central canal and the osteocytes and then between osteocytes. Now let's relate the images in your book and lab manual to an actual microscope slide. So this entire structure here is an osteon or haversian system. Notice the central canal in the center. That would be synonymous with this. Notice the concentric circles or lamella. And then we have these little dark areas which are actual cavities even though they you may not think of them as cavities. They are cavities. They appear dark because light doesn't penetrate them. And in those lacuna, we have the osteocytes. And lastly, we have radiating out from the central canal in between the lacuna, those small canaliculi. You are responsible for being able to identify any structures of the microscopic anatomy of bone that are on your study guide either on an image like the ones in your book or on a uh, microscopic view of compact bone as shown here.